Hi and welcome to another Xamarin tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can publish your Android app so that um, you can either upload it to the Google Play Store for people to download or so that you can create a an APK file that you can send to your phone and test on your phone or distribute outside the um, Google Play Store. Okay, so um, before you can publish an Android app you need to create something called an Android signing key. <clears throat> so there's two ways of doing this. You can either do it before you publish your app or you can do it um, um, during the app publishing um, stage. So um, to check if you have an Android signing key, you can go to Xamarin Studio uh, Community and Preferences menu if you're on Mac. And then you can go down to under the publishing Android signing keys and there should be a list of signing keys there if you have any um, and if you don't have a signing key you can create a new one there um, but I'm going to show you how to create a signing key another way which is um, which you'll also want to follow these instructions if you're using Windows okay so Windows or Mac it's it's pretty much the same if you follow these instructions so what we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to build this app. Um, we're going to publish this app, um, and we're going to create a signing key that we can use to publish that app. So, um, what we need to do first is we need to go to the uh, project menu, and then just go down to where it says active configuration and change it from debug to release. So we're no longer just um, testing and running this app on the um, computer here, we're going to make a release version. So we're going to make a file that we can um, put on actual Android phones, so real phones. Okay, so we'll change active configuration to release. And when you want to go back to making and testing your app on the computer, you'll want to change that back to debug. So just remember that you need to change that back after you release um, or create an APK file to install on a phone. So we we'll change the active configuration to um, release. That will allow you to publish your app. Um, so now what we want to do is we need to go to build, the build menu, and then click on archive for publishing. Okay, and it might take a few seconds um, for it to come up, um, but in a moment, we should see another screen that allows us to sign and distribute our app. And at, this, at that point, and here it is, at this point, we can also um, create a signing key to use. So I've actually already built this app before. So um, there's a previous version there. I'll just delete it. Um, so this is what you should see. So when you um, when you click on build and then archive for publishing, you should, should see a screen like this. And you should see if it's the first time you're building and publishing your app, you should see um, just one version here. but I had two there because I'd already published this app before, so I can just delete the old version and now this is a, the new version that I'm going to publish. So you can see that we've got the app icon there, we've got some information about the app, like the estimated app store size, which is about 5.8 megabytes. We've got the version number, creation date, and we could also have some company name details there, but I haven't actually added any of those details. So we need to just select this app that we want to now distribute and we click on sign and distribute. Now there's two ways of doing this. We could either click on ad hoc where we can just save the file to a computer and then uh, maybe just email it to a phone or um, we could go and plug the phone in and copy it over to the SD card or internal storage to install on the phone. So that's one way of doing it and we could also click on Google Play if we want to up upload this app to the Google Play Store. Um, but I'm going to just click on ad hoc, save to disk, click on next. And now at this point, it asks us to choose an Android signing identity, um, but we don't have one yet. So we need to click on create a new key and you just need to provide a few details here to create a key or a signing certificate for your Android app. So I'm just going to call this uh, my signing key. And it needs a password, it needs a minimum of six characters. So I'm just going to create a password. And you can choose validity. Um, 
really doesn't matter what you pick here at the moment, um, but you might, when you release this app, um, you might want to think about what details you provide here, but at the moment, this is just so we can test it on our own phone. So um, I'm just going to, um, you just need to fill in like at least one box here. So for example, the character or the country code for your country, you could just fill that in. Or you could put your first and last name or your organization or city, but you need to fill in at least one of those boxes. Okay, once you've done that, click on OK. And there you go, you have your signing key there that you can use. Select your new signing key and then click on next. And here is just uh, an overview of your app. It says all required information has been collected. Your app is ready to be published. Click on publish. And you'll need to choose a folder to save this to on your computer. And you need to give it a name. So I'm just going to call it cookie clicker. And then you need to make sure it has .apk on the end. So also if you're doing this on Windows, um, it might not show you this bit at the end, but make sure you type in .apk at the end of the file name. So this is cookieclicker.apk. It's going to be an APK file that we can now go and copy over to a phone. Okay, click on save. Type in the password that you created when you created these signing key and then click on OK. It says your app is being published and that's it. Your app is ready to go. Um, and then you could click on reveal in Finder or reveal in Windows Explorer to see um, the folder that you saved it to and access that file. So if I go to reveal in Finder, uh, there it is, cookieclicker.apk, that's the file. And it's about six megabytes. All right, so that's it. I'll just click on close and I can close this now. And if I want to continue building and testing this app on the actual computer, I just need to go back to project and change active configuration back to debug. So just remember that last step. Anyway, we now have an APK file and there are a few ways that we can use this. We could either plug in an Android phone and then um, access um, the folders on that phone and copy the file across to um, either the internal storage or an SD card and install it from a file manager on the phone. Or another way of doing it is just emailing it to the phone. So you could just um, attach the APK file to an email send it to the phone, open up the email on the phone and install it that way. Um, however, before you can open the app, you might need to change your permissions um, in your Android settings. You might need to change your permissions just to allow you to um, install apps that aren't on the um, Google Play Store, so unverified apps. Um, anyway, that's all for this tutorial. So. Um, Go and um, make your own app and build and publish it and test it on your own Android device um, or maybe upload yours to the Google Play Store. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.